I'm not your chief. But I hope. Since the release of its first season in 2014, it didn't take long for fans to fall in love with the characters of Outlander, but it might surprise you to hear that the cast are quite mysterious. Join us as we take a look at some of the cast secrets only true followers need to know. Number one, Claire Frazier is Katrina Balfe's first main role. First up on our list is a secret that not many fans actually know about the show and has everything to do with the beautiful woman that portrays the role of Claire Frazier. Katrina Balfe was born in Dublin, Ireland back in October of 1979. Since Claire has been the solidifying force behind the last five seasons of the franchise, fans have come to know Katrina's face and smile, making her one of the most liked actresses in the world at the moment. Fans can't imagine anyone else being picked as the leading lady of Outlander and love interest of Jamie Fraser. Katrina wasn't always the popular actress that she is today. In fact, before bringing the character of Claire Fraser to life, she was wandering the streets as a struggling model, wondering when she was finally going to get her big break. But to her surprise, after picking up a few minor acting roles, the casting director of Outlander found her and just knew that she would be perfect. Just like that, Katrina was able to pick up her first leading role in a television series, allowing her to hand herself over to the art form of acting. It's a good thing too, as Katrina would be wasted as a mere pretty face. If we consider the things that she's made us feel over the past five seasons, there's no doubt that the showrunners made the correct decision by risking it all to bring her on. Number two, Sam Hewen thoroughly disliked by author Deanna Gabaldon. Around 50% of the Outlander fans loved the show due to the often steamy appearances of Jamie Fraser, who is so expertly portrayed by the handsome St. Hewen, but you'll be surprised to hear that the author of the source material, Diana Gabaldon, was not very fond of the man at first. The same cannot be said about her reaction to Katrina Balf, whom she said she always imagined Claire to look like in her mind. But Sam Hewen was just too rugged to give off the sweet-natured persona that she had written Jamie with. That being said, the casting director asked whether Deanna would just give him a chance, to which she replied that she would. It was then upon seeing Sam all dressed up and ready to rock the world as Jamie that she fell in love with what he could do. In other words, Diana Diana actually envisioned Jamie to look a lot different than Sam, which makes sense considering her adverse reaction to his casting photograph. But when she saw him act out some dialogue in the company of Katrina, he began to transform into the Jamie she had always known before her eyes. So the decision was made to make Jamie the leading man of the franchise. It's a good thing too, since the majority of the fans are still begging for his attention. Number three, the role of Jamie Fraser was actually cast first. Not everyone had the same adverse reaction as Diana though, with Sam becoming one of the first actors to be cast in the franchise. According to reports, the idea was for the casting director to take his time in the casting of the roles of Jamie and Claire since they were the very crux of the show. Get them wrong, and the show may become disastrous after all. But when the casting director stumbled upon Sam's profile, there was something about the look in his eyes that sparked the interest of the production team. Upon viewing the footage of his audition tape, there was absolutely no question in mind. Sam had to be cast in the role before he lost interest in the franchise and was scooped up by someone else. This also explains why the casting director was so adamant about Diana giving Sam the opportunity to rub off on her. Luckily for us, this is precisely what he did. Number four, the series makes use of some impressive hairstyle artists. If there is one thing that Outlander concentrates on, it's the aesthetics of Jamie, Claire, and Brie, all of whom who have been made to look precisely like the characters that were described in the original source material. But since the actors and actresses who portray these characters were not designed by Deanna herself, in the real world, they look nothing like the men and women we've come to love over the runtime of the franchise. A great example of this is Sam Hewen, who doesn't have the distinctive long brown hair that Jamie has come to be known for. In fact, his hair is actually naturally blonde. Sophie Skelton, on the other hand, is a straight up brunette who was chosen to portray the role of a fiery redhead. When it comes to Katrina, her hair is actually naturally straight, which is a far cry from the curly hair that Claire rocks on a daily basis. In other words, the hairstyle and makeup department had a lot of work to do when it came to the creation of the aesthetic we've come to love. Diana was brought onto the set when these characters were first fitted for the roles and helped the artists behind the scenes create the image that we now have of the leading characters. As it turns out, this was the right move, as we simply can't imagine a blonde Jamie Frazier hunting our dreams. Well done, hairstyle artist. You've done some impressive work over the years. Number five, behind Jamie scarring. Another behind the scenes secret that has been revealed over the last few years relates to Jamie's back, which fans will know has been scarred from a pretty traumatic past event. It's an injury that unknowingly led to the development of the man we know him as. So it's important for the audience to be reminded of this each and every time he takes his shirt off. But you might be surprised to hear that it's more than just makeup 
applied by the makeup artist on the payroll. While they do have a lot of work to do in an attempt to make the scarring appear more natural, it's the props department who really needs to be thanked for this overall impression. Believe it or not, this scarring is actually the result of silicon molds, which Sam has been asked to wear every time the script asks him to get semi-naked. Once applied to his skin, these silicon molds are then treated by the makeup department to blend into his skin, giving off the terrifying vision that Claire has come to love. You'll also be interested to know that the silicon molds in question consist of two pieces which are attached in the same way each and every time. These molds have also been used for the first season onwards for the sake of consistency, and have been made lighter each and every season to match the fact that Jamie as a character is aging. It's a tiny detail that goes unnoticed by most viewers, but this little attention to detail is what makes Outlander such an incredible show to be a fan of. Number 6. Casting of Sophie Skelton took a lot longer than initially thought. If you thought that Sam Hewen had some casting trouble, just wait until you hear what happened to the lovely Sophie Skelton. As it turns out, the actress had first auditioned for the role of Brianna back in 2014, but felt like she had missed her opportunity to be part of Outlander since she hadn't received a call back. When the role of Brianna became necessary as Jamie and Claire got closer with one another, the casting director dug through some old footage and found Skelton's tape to be quite convincing. The actress was over the moon when she finally was told that she was going to be brought on to play Brianna. Not surprising considering this was a few years after she had initially auditioned. That just goes to show you that you should never give up on your dreams. Number 7. Richard Rankin is actually a talented singer. While the majority of Outlander fans were pleasantly surprised when Roger McKenzie sang for the first time in the franchise, fans of the man who portrayed the character Richard Rankin were fully expecting this to take place. This is due to the fact that Rankin is known to be a pretty popular Scottish singer. In other words, his performance during the Scottish Festival in Season 4 was actually real, with the entire set being treated to his performance in real time. That being said, Sophia Skelton was the first to point out that she was glad when Rankin's time at the festival was finally over. According to her, his constant attempts at perfecting this performance were driving her crazy on set, and she wasn't the only one. But since we've heard Rankin perform time and time again by rewatching the episode, it now makes sense that this performance was so raw. Another brilliant detail to add to the list. Number 8. The Beloved Kilts of the Scottish Warriors Last but not least, we know that there's quite a bit of historical accuracy when it comes to the runtime of Outlander. Nowhere is this better seen than in the entire Rocked by the Scottish Warriors, who pull off their kilts in the best way possible. According to Sam Hewen, this authenticity is taken even further at times with some of the actors choosing to go commando underneath, which is how the Scots used to do things back in the day. Whether Sam was one of these actors, we have no idea, but he has stated that his experience in the kilt was quite liberating, so do what you will with that information. Well, that's the video for today. What do you think of the Outlander secrets you've learned here today? Be sure to let us know in the comments section below. See you next time.